Journey, don't stop believing. Kind of makes you want to roll up a joint, right? And it really does. It's, uh, you know, that's how I'm, I'm so out of it now. Now I'm calling, we want to roll up a joint. They don't use that term joint anymore, right? We're not live yet. We can talk. They don't use that term joint anymore. What do they call them? Blunts or... I don't know, man. They're doing all the weird things now with marijuana, man. And I can't keep up with the Joneses. I really, really can't. We're going to go live. All right, here we go. Oh, la, la. What are they? There we go, Sunday by Journey. Don't stop believing. That's right, 9.08 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio. Thursday morning, getting ready for the weekend. No doubt about it. Live on Facebook right now. Be sure to join me. Stop by and say, hello. Hello, Robert Remus. Hello, 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 hello. Anyways, whew, it is time for question of the day. But I tell you what, Esther, um, you know, I'm looking outside right now. The sun's out and blue skies and the birds are chirping and all the other good stuff. And uh, I know it's awesome, but along with that, man, now i got to go wash my car. My car is all dirty and filthy from all the rain and all the other good stuff. So I hate having to wash the car, man. Really, man, it takes 30 minutes of my important time. By the way... People have been telling me, Robert, did you get rid of Hulu? Because I stream my channels now. I don't get that Spectrum, Time Warner crap. Screw them. So I stream everything now. So I was getting Hulu for a while. But for some reason, there was a delay or a lag or something. They pissed me off. So I was trying other services. I had two more days left on my Hulu account before it was going to expire. So I turned on my Hulu again yesterday. And lo and behold, man, Hulu is kicking ass. So I'm going to tell you all this. If you're not streaming yet through a service provider is to don't get rid of your spectrum cable box get rid of all that crap go hulu trust me man for 42 dollars man you get all your major channels and they even throw in midget porn Woohoo! all right all right i'm playing about the midget porn but really man hulu really kicks ass it really really does good morning shout outs let's see here lots to talk about good morning shout out get up to my prima irene gayona good morning prima how we doing big don swat is in the house how you doing big don Anyways, I used to uh, DJ for Big Don back in the day when he had Big Don's out there on General Kruger and Blanco Road. The memories, the memories, Big Don. There we go. The minister. Let me see here. Cindy Snyder. Good morning, Cindy. How we doing? Lupita Castro. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Jesse Gutierrez. Good morning. Good morning. You know, let me get back here again. There we go. Jerry Wadia. Buenos dias. Mark Montoya. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, Primo. Hello, Rivas. There we go. Who said I got Hulu? Somebody said I got Hulu. There we go. My prima. My prima says, Robert, Robert, I got Hulu. Prima, let's cut a deal. I tell you what, I'll cancel mine. I'll give you 50% for your bill. And woohoo, we're both save money. <laughs> Mexicanos. <laughs> right. I'm playing Prima. I got my own Hulu. There you go. Good morning, shout out to Rosemary Gomez. Good morning, Rosemary. Anyways, um, do not forget tomorrow morning, Joe Bravo will be joining me on my morning show. As we'll be talking about his big benefit happening tomorrow night at the Royal Palace Ballroom. And we'll be talking about Joe Bravo as well. Anyways, Connie Villarreal, buenos dias, buenos dias. Let's see what's going on out here, man, in this crazy, crazy world. i got a whole lot of people joined in right now. Thank you all so very, very much. You know, I've talked about this again and again and again and again. And here we go again. Six Flags here in San Antonio. Guests were rescued. From a stuck roller coaster, okay? Here in San Antonio at Six Flags, that roller coaster got stuck again. And there you have it, man. People were stuck in that roller coaster upside down. And there you have it. Uh, there were some women that were stuck up there with low-cut blouses. And they say the guys were up there looking from the ground up, looking with binoculars going, Woohoo! What a view! <laughs> right? Right? If you're going to go on a roller coaster, ladies, don't wear a low-cut blouse. Because if you get stuck up there... Guys are going to get a free peek, man, and that's true. It really, really is. There we go. Big Don says, good morning, Robert. Looking looking good, my friend. Thank you, amigo. And so are, so are you, Big Don. There we go. Let me, I'm going to give you all a heads up and a fun fact about Big Don. Big Don, do not play Big Don for, you know, pool for money. He'll kick your ass, man. <laughs> Big Don knows how to play pool. He really does, man. If I didn't get out of there when I did, I would have signed over my house, my car, my bank account, everything to Big Don. And Big Don knows how to play pool. Good morning, shout out. Good morning, Salinas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So anyways, the roller coaster at Flick, uh, Flick Flags, at Six Flags, got stuck. It was upside down. And check this out. You know why it got stuck? They had a power outage. And why? Because a buzzard, <laughs> a buzzard, uh, uh, slammed into a transformer, and there you go. <laughs> the buzzard said, if I'm not having a good time, they're not going to have a good time. 
He goes, I'm going to go into that Transformer. So a kamikaze buzzard went and hit the Transformer, and that was the end of that. The roller coaster was stuck upside down. There you have it. Anyways, check this out. <laughs> Crazy story. We all know who the Phillies fanatic is, right? Baseball Philly fanatic. He's that character with the it's green. It's got that big nose and whatever the case. Well, the the Philly fanatic has this thing to where during a baseball game he'll get one of these little air pumps, whatever the case may be, and shoots out hot dogs. He shoots hot dogs out into the crowd, free hot dogs. Well, there we go, man. Anyways, Monday night, the Phillies game, the Phillies fanatic went out there and started shooting hot dogs into the stands, and one girl who wasn't looking. The hot dog stuck her in the face. <laughs> the hot dog stuck her in the face. Now, here's the deal. Whenever they shoot the hot dogs out, they got them wrapped in duct tape. So anyway, I guess that way the hot dog can stay in the bun. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there trying to keep that hot dog in the bun. I'm not going to go there. This is a family show. Well, anyways, this flying hot dog... When it hit this lady who wasn't looking, it struck her in the face. Well, anyways, as the, they took her to the doctor. They took her to the emergency room. And the doctor came to the conclusion that she didn't have a hematoma. She had a wienertoma. Nah, not funny. That's not funny, Robert! Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. She didn't have a wienertoma. She had a hematoma. So now they're saying for the past two or three nights, the woman wakes up in the middle of the night yelling and screaming, saying she's seen flying hot dogs come at her face. So uh, her husband got rid of all the porn movies, and there you have it. Anyways, let's get to my question of the day. Orale, here we go. Question of the day. You know, the other day I was watching Blazing Saddles. Have y'all ever seen the movie Blazing Saddles? You know, if you've never seen it, man, it's a must-watch movie, man. It is one of the funniest movies ever, Blazing Saddles. Anyways, a part of the movie, they show where Harvey Corman, you know, from uh, um, Carol Burnett, He's playing with a paddle ball. I mean, but he's kicking ass with the paddle ball. Well, anyways, I thought to myself, I remember back in the day when we as kids used to have paddle balls. Who remembers paddle balls? Well, my question of the day is simple, straight to the point. Who remembers paddle ball? Remember, it was kind of like a paddle, and it had a string attached to it with a ball. And you'd hit a bang of wood, bang of wood, bang of wood, bang of wood. And, uh, well, there you have it. Either you were good or bad at it, man. Really, there were some people that would kick ass with paddle ball. I, I mean, I tried it a couple of times, but I was never good at it. But anyways, head on over to Robert Rivas in a radio group page and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Who remembers paddle ball? Were you good, bad, or just didn't care for it? Head on over to right now and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Ow! Let's keep it going. Little something by Alabama. Love in the first degree. Good morning. <sighs> Man, I'm beat up this morning. I really am. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I forgot to turn on my alerts. See, there goes the alerts right there. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me. As the Magdalena Cervantes, buenos dias, Juana Salinas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Join me. Robert Rivas, radio.com. Join me now.